I want to help build this channel so that I can bring you good information, knowing about service dogs, about your pet, and safety when it comes to handling your pet dog. So today, we're at the dog chiropractor. Number one safety tip, when you open the door, dogs do not come piling out. You have a command. And if you watch some of my previous videos, you have a command to tell your dog, O-U-T. Whatever word you could use, you can use the word mustard if you want. And I, I gave them the wave. They also work on a command from hand signals. So if you always use the word out and you're telling them where to go, these two dogs work that way. Allie does too, but she's the main reason why we're at the chiropractor, so I'm going to lift her out. Good. So, off leash training. All these dogs are trained to heal by my side. I'm going to let them smell the grass just for a second. And they're trained not to go beyond 20 feet. That's another thing I can teach you. Comment below is that what you want to learn. Do you want to learn off leash? Do you want to learn healing? Do you want to learn what are the techniques that you start from puppyhood and go forward and have a dog that learns like this? So we're going to walk into Paul and Brianna's office. Busy parking lot. I, my main job is to watch out for my dogs and don't put them in harm's way. right in the center here and that's just going to allow her that proper fluid motion in the SI joints there. Okay, you crack, ready? And we'll raise her head up if she'll let us. There you go. I know, so you ready? <laughs> I know. She a little tight up there too. Okay, let's let her head just drop back down and you can go back to the corner. Ready? Come on up. Okay. Ready, cowgirl? Come on back up. You just wanted to face towards mom. You fight me a little bit. You fight me a little bit. Alright, ready? Come on. Let's pop back up. Nice. Okay. Good dogs. Okay, so let's check you out. All the way up here. Cassandra, when she's rough housing, does she do a lot of the tug toys or is it more just like chasing the ball? What does she like to do? Tug. tug. Nice. Nice. Good job. That was that was a great one. Yeah, I so Oh, I, I know, I know. <laughs> All right, last one. We gotta check that jaw. I know that one's not healthy. No worries. Smile. Can I see the teeth? Can I see the teeth? Good, good, good. Okay. So I think it's the same as last time. I think that right side kind of glided over. Her muscles are really tight, just guarding that right side too. Nice job, very good. One more. Nice job, sweetie. Look at you, very good. Can I recheck ya? Can we check ya? Look at you, so <laughs> good. Okay. You gonna dance? You wanna dance? Okay. I know. Good, good, good. <laughs> so good, so good. <laughs> Wait, how's no. Allie been doing? Good. Yeah. Great. Really good. Great. Okay. So you ready? You been doing good? Huh? Let's check that back in. 
So last time she barely extended at all in the back end, so I am actually happy to see her just go a little bit back, which is great. <clears throat> Look at that! Good, okay, you're like swimming there. Has she been actually swimming a lot? No. Nope. Okay. Just really careful with the play so okay. she's not tumbling and rolling. I know. There you go. Good. Good, Allie. You're good. <laughs> oh, I know. You're a talker. There you go. I know. This is the tight one. This is the one. I know. I know. Nice. <laughs> good. You're good. You're okay. so you can get a better angle with your work. That's it. That's it. You're okay. You're okay. You're okay. You're okay. <laughs> Talky talker. I'll give you a treat here in a moment, okay? Okay. I got you, sweetie. Ready? That's it. Good job. Good job, sweetie. Look at that. Was that easy? Was that Good. easy? Yes. yes. You were just talking to talk, huh? Don't draw this feel too bad. I think that was more Atlas up top, so that's good. Yeah. Does she play tug toy a good bit as well? Yes. Okay. okay. And her eating's been good, no problems there? Eating has been doing great. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to leave her jaw. I think it's in a really good spot there. You did so good. You did so good. What do you think? What do you think? Oh, you jealous, huh? You jealous? Okay. What did she have? There you go. There you go. We're a trilogy chiropractic. We see people and animals. We love helping out all the four-legged ones as well, especially when they uh, when they are put to work. They love to play, do all the bite work they do as well. They need a little extra love for sure. Just like people get jaw problems and all sorts of issues up and down the spine, animals deal with the same thing. So. Anytime we're needed. Yeah. Thank you, Sandra. Appreciate it. I know, it broke. It's not your fault. Keys. Yes. down that's a lot different than what we might call bite or tug work which is the fun part of this i'm sandra leblanc if you like what we're showing you and you're going to see in this video a lot of things in training like subscribe and hit the notification bell now i'll show you the tug toy that all hard-working herding dogs love Calgo. yes oh yes good good way different isn't it yes a well-trained dog knows the difference between a toy and when I need to pick it up. Good. Yes, I know our favorite cat is here. And one of the reasons why I demonstrate this in a wheelchair is a lot of folks in wheelchairs will need a dog to be able to know the difference between I need you to pick this up, ring this doorbell, oh, turn on this light, or 
let's just play and have fun. And you're always going to want to have fun with your dog. I'm Sandra LaFlam with Canines for Heroes. Thanks for watching today. Good, good, good. Yes, that was really good.